It's apple season, so it's perfect time to make this delicious apple crisp. It's comforting, cozy and packed with wholesome ingredients everyone will love. If making an apple pie from scratch is a lot of work for you, you should definitely try making this apple crisp with oats. Homemade apple crisp is the perfect fall dessert, budget-friendly and healthy for you. It comes with tender, juicy apple filling and crispy golden oatmeal topping. Making an apple crisp is super easy, trust me, the most time-consuming part is slicing the apples. I recommend starting with the apples, then moving on to the topping. Today I'm using Red Delicious and I'm not peeling my apples. It adds some texture and nutrition to the crisp, plus there's no time needed for peeling. Cut your apples thinly and similar in size, this will make your apples fully tender and juicy. And I think you wouldn't like the hard apples in your crisp. Place your apple slices in a large mixing bowl, you'll need about 5 medium sized apples. Continue adding the cinnamon, you can go with nutmeg or ginger too, some vanilla extract, apple sauce which helps create a nice sauce, or you can grate one of the apples before slicing the rest. Also some cornstarch to thicken the juices, and some maple syrup or agave, but that's optional because apples are already sweet. Mix together until fully coated with the cinnamon, transfer to a baking dish and spread evenly. I prefer to pre-bake my apples just to ensure topping doesn't get too crispy before the apples are tender. So cover with a foil and place in the oven for 20 minutes. While the apples are cooking, let's make the topping. Instead of cutting the cold butter into the mixture, you just have to combine together rolled oats, also some ground oats, finely chopped walnuts which add lots of crunch to the topping, of course some ground cinnamon, and in place of butter we're using maple syrup or agave, and melted coconut oil. Using a fork, stir until crumbly and set in the fridge until the apples are done pre-baking. When it's time, remove the foil and stir it up so that the sauce evenly covers all of the apples. Sprinkle over the topping and do that evenly, but don't press the topping down in order to have more crunchy pieces. Now you have to place it back in the oven for another 20 to 25 minutes or until the oats are golden brown and the bottom layer is bubbling. Anyway, make sure to check because you don't want it too brown on the top and dry at the bottom. Some prefer to eat the apple crisp hot from the oven, but I prefer to let it cool for 15 minutes before serving it. Also, you love it the next day from the fridge when all the flavors melt together. Apple crisp served with vanilla ice cream is the classic combo, but for a healthier alternative you could go with coconut whipped cream or a spoonful of Greek yogurt. It's tender on the inside and crispy on top. It's paired with sweet and spicy, warm and cold, this simple dessert is truly special. By the way, this healthy apple crisp is gluten free and vegan friendly and with all the fiber and complex carbs it will make you satisfied without having a sugar crash. If you want to get the most out of the apples and you want something you can have on the go, make these apple pie muffins. These come with 3 layers of apples and they're really moist and delicious. Check out that recipe now. Thank you so much for watching, see you in another video. Stay healthy, stay happy.